Hello there, I am Lola Kate. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you very quickly how to do a half up, half down hairstyle like so. I will insert a picture here. I hate that word insert. Anywho, so I'm going to show you how to blend your short hair into hair extensions to get a cute little half up, half down do. How I like to do it is I like to use a couple of types of hair extensions. So the extensions that I'm going to be using today are the Zala Clip-In Hair Extensions and they're seamless as well. The bottom half of my hair will be exposed. So I like to use extensions that sit really quite flat. I'll show you the difference. So this is the difference here with your classic lace hair extension and then the seamless Zyla hair extension. It's kind of bonded together at the top here and there's no fabric and they just sit a lot flatter and they're a lot thinner as well. And they are 20% lighter than your regular lace weft of hair. These are the type of extensions I'll be using today on the the bottom half of my hair and on top I am going to be using a clip-in ponytail again this is by the brand Zala it has a lace part over there and this section of hair here will wrap around the ponytail so this will be on the top half of my hair and I will pop the clip-in extensions on the bottom half of my hair okay so I've just parted my hair into two sections and I've just put a ponytail on the top half obviously as you can see I'll just show you the back so with the bottom section of my hair, I'm just going to half that, just go across like so, okay? And this section here, I'm just going to clip out of the way. Then I'm left with this bottom section here. So putting a hair extension directly on top of short hair, like this, that is not going to be a good blend. You can still see your natural hair length under here. And a lot of people make that mistake by, you know, thinking that it's blending in, adding curls and movement into the extension to sort of blend in the jump from here and here. So when they're styling their hair, they're thinking that's going to blend it in. It is not going to blend, okay? So I'm gonna show you today how to avoid that hot mess. Nothing irks me more than when girls do that. I'll show you how to not have that issue. So what you do is, first of all, you're gonna need a bobby pin, maybe two. See how you go. So get your section of hair. It does not have to be neat and tidy. Twist it around into a little bun like so. Just keep wrapping your hair around till it feels secure. With your bobby pin, just hold it into place. I'm gonna use another one. Now that that's tucked up out of the way, that's then when you pop in your first hair extension. So this is it here, I've got four clips. So the short hair is up, no one is going to see your real hair length. First, second, third, fourth. Now even though it looks a little bumpy, the other hair extensions sitting on top of it are going to cover this area here. So even though it might feel a little bit strange, from the front when you're looking at me, all you can see is the length. You cannot see my natural hair length at this point is undetectable. So now with my next section of hair, I'm going to do another twist here and another twist on this side as well. My hair is very thick, so if I was to do one bun, it would kind of stick out too much. So that's why I like to do one on each side. That way the hair is tucked in a lot flatter. So just twist it around patting it flat before I pin it and then just sticking the first pin I'm holding it flat with my finger and then sticking the second pin in as well okay so that's the first one and just another one on the other side this section of hair is smaller than this side so I needed two pins on this side this side only needed one pin that's fine the less bobby pins I use the better it's gonna be for me. I don't like to overuse bobby pins just cause they can be uncomfortable. So now we have our second weft of hair. This has four clips on it. So gonna stick that directly on top of the sections that I just pinned up. So line it up where you would like it to sit. Comb, clip, comb, clip. And then you just have a little chocolate break in between. Because the whole process. <laughs> Takes a while. I have my next section laid across. This section here I'm going to leave flat like so. And I'm using another four clip hair piece. Line it up. So that is my next section there. Okay, so now letting the rest 
down. Okay, and with this section of hair here, I have two of the smaller pieces of the two clip hair extensions. That way I can move them around because the last section up here is a little more narrow and I can sort of just pop them where they need to go, where they're hidden. So I've just sectioned out a small piece of hair up here. That way when I pop in the two smaller wefts of hair, I've still got a little section that's going to cover the clip-ins. So popping the first one in over here. Okay, and the second piece I'm just going to stick over here. So that's sitting nice and flat. And then I will take out the next section of hair. So this is how it should be from each side. Now we have this little guy here. Okay, so now with the ponytail part of the hairstyle. So this is the 12 inch Zala clip-in ponytail. This is the length of it. So that's how it's sitting here. And I'm feeling like I want a little bit more length for the style that I'm doing today. So I'm not actually gonna use this one here. I'm gonna go in with my 22 inch hairpiece there, which I've just trimmed. I trimmed off probably about three inches just because I like this length better. It is a slightly different color to the color underneath, but that's okay for blondes. Blondes usually have different tones in their hair and it's kind of like a little bit deeper underneath and a little lighter on top, which does look quite natural. And if you are interested in seeing a review of this ponytail here, I will leave a link just up here for you. Yeah, if you're interested, if not, you know, continue on. Line up the comb to the center of the ponytail. There's a section of hair here wrapping around the ponytail. Stick a bobby pin at the back of that section here and then with the tips of the hair I like to spray that into this little section here okay and that is the completed hairstyle I'm happy I definitely went with the longer extension because it blends in with the ends of my hair but see my short hair is all hidden and it's undetectable that I have a shorter length of hair which is exactly how it should look if I'm moving around and you know living my best life hot girl summer even though it's winter here in australia so really it's like a hot girl winter anyway <laughs> so totally undetectable totally fine so glam so cute that's it for today's video i hope you found my tutorial helpful if you enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe thank you for hanging out with me today and i'll see you next time bye